much stay on these outside edges. Well, the day's the day. We got, we dodged a good rain. We got just enough to wet everything, which was amazing. Uh, got all the step downs in, got some well plates built. I need to build a couple, three, four more. Garage doors, all that, footings all intact. I tell you what, I was a nervous wreck yesterday afternoon trying to get all this stuff done in here. But we got old muddy feet concrete pumping here to sling the mud for us. Got Matt and the crew. Even my buddy Chad Brown showed up. He was in one of the videos, uh, one of the elk hunting videos we did last, a couple years ago, I guess, was it? It's been that long? Boy, time flies. But, yep, I was tickled to death. The storm, I'll show you the radar it, where it's coming in, and it just starts breaking up. I mean, almost like if I just took my finger or something on a mouse or something, just kind of broke, broke the line up, because everybody else got a heck of a rain. But, uh... <laughs> I, I, I couldn't believe it. I, and like I said, I was a nervous cat. Oh, that whole deal. Got Chris getting ready to prime out. All the mud. They told me all the mud. I got 50 ordered. I'm holding on 50. All right, I'm gonna have to go to work here. I'm gonna let Chad hold the camera if he don't mind. You mind? Nope.
Everything all right on your pump you got back? Yeah. Well, I just got to order hose and yeah, like, all that stuff. They did away with all that. What about the truck? They didn't find it. That's probably what they were after anyway, wasn't it? So what they try to do with that pump? No, well, they tried to sell it. They did. Yeah. And I kind of think they probably got it in some guy's hands that had a concrete pump or two because they pumped with it. Oh, really? You could tell? Yeah. They pumped with well, and they left a bunch of four. I, I carry all three inch hoses. They left all a bunch of four inch gaskets on the hopper and, and down in it. And it was, of course, it was nasty too. Yeah. They at least washed it out. Oh, yeah. But they didn't. So. That's weird. So, yeah, they. Somebody uh, somebody used it. I'm pretty sure uh, another small pump company yeah. like me, they probably they Some realized hands. it was hot. Yeah. And, but I bet you whoever that I bet they bought, I bet they bought that system from them. Yeah. Got to give them a thousand bucks for all my hoses and stuff. That's insane to me. I heard somebody else say, and you might have told me on a text, uh, you knew where it was with your locator deal, and the cops wouldn't go get it or wouldn't go. No, I never knew where it was. I thought you I, did. I somebody said. A, now I had a picture of a street sign that they took. Well, they took all the pictures from. But I never knew where anything. Oh, okay. Was. I see. I, I guess somebody told me that at work. You know how things grow yeah. legs at work. That made me but mad. That's like I thought maybe you had a locator on it, and you're well, t you're telling the cops the, it's the right had, here. The truck had you connect on it. Yeah. And they they couldn't. They wouldn't use it, or couldn't they, use couldn't, it. they couldn't pin it anywhere. Well, if, I, if they're good thieves, they know how to turn all that shit off yeah. real quick. You the know? guy you connect said all they got to do is unplug the radio. Yeah. Because the GPS is built into the radio with the XM and all that other stuff. It just makes you feel better when they sell you that shit. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> good criminal. Good. The good criminals know that that ain't gonna catch them. You got to have an external source. A hidden, a hidden, hidden, a hidden yeah, one, yeah. You got to have all that. And I, I've had several people on the comments, you know, tell me, hey, we use this. It works awesome. Yeah. So I'm going and to, and I've saved two or three of those those companies. Morning. I'm Chad Brown. Chad Jay, Gaston. Nice to meet you, Jay. I've heard all about you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long time since I've seen an all white concrete crew. Well, I don't know what makes you think we're all white. <laughs> Took exactly pretty much well. Have you started that other truck yet? So we got that's 40 yards on the ground right there, huh? So we're doing we're doing about right, I guess. On 50 yards is what I got ordered. That's what's backed up. We hadn't touched that truck yet. So what do you think, Matt? How do you think the pour is going along? Door's going fine. Some of the help around here ain't working out very good. <laughs> uh, boy, it's a cool one. I tell you, the temperature this morning is awesome. We had that little front come in last night. It showered just perfect here. I'm telling you, everybody else got a hell of a rain, and we it just it's almost like I raced it with my with my finger on the radar. I couldn't ask for a more perfect little light shower. I think we got a tenth of an inch. What, what it showed i was a nervous wreck before that though we're gonna need a we'll need a tag after this and I, that's what we kind of assumed we were going to Why? Why? 
on 50. I thought that was pretty good, close enough. <laughs> Go get some bags. <laughs> get some get a pile of sock creek. <laughs> or six. <laughs> huh? Four anyway. Huh? Well Chris hadn't pumped down, so if it pumps down, that'll get us a We're going to order four yards. Oh, hell. Let me see your shovel, Chad. These are our well plates that we just saw us build. Jump with the doors. What I'm doing here is getting it set in here level. So that way is good. That way I need to bring it up just a little bit. What these are well plates it's where i'll prefab the building at a high beam and then we'll we'll weld the legs onto these plates they got rebars of course you saw that when i welded them up on the bottom of them that anchors it in and then we'll go check this other one Perfect. I 
I've already got these leveled up. Come on, Crane, get over the corner. There we go. I should have hauled it all my YouTube buddies, Mike Day. And, uh, got him over here. Maybe Ryan with Victory. Victory Concreter Outdoors. Should have got them guys. See if they wanted to come join in on all the fun. I'm going to slick as we can get it. Dancing may come back into style one day. All right, there's our tag load right there. Get that last three and a half, four yards out, and we're going to be golden. Matt's panicking a little. He thinks it's drying too fast, but we'll see. I think it's drying just right. There's, there goes Chris. Off to his next one. There, we timed that just right. Now we're tailgating this last load. That's why I want to do that, so we can get him out of here. Oh, well, we got finished at 9.15 and 11.15. We got the, oh, well, we got finished the big part about 9.15. About an hour and 15 minutes, hour. Dump it out. And then, got this and our four yard tag load, but even it's drying as fast as everything else. So, we're edging. I just got through with the shower. Shower box. Got through floating it out. I got to trial it. Does that look good? These, I'm telling you, these are some of the best finishes you'll see. This is all a little tacky yet, but I got the shower pan built out. It's a little rough over on the other side, but I'll get that trial down in a minute. It's looking good. Getting her rubbed down though. 